Okay guys. We have the crew here. This is Tom North over there, his son Tyler and Jeff is here. And uh, they, we got the truck on the trailer already. They had that done, but uh, we're gonna use this cherry picker. We're gonna take it with us and see if we can use it to lift it off. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that's gonna work. Okay, check out the strap down job here. Got it strapped down really nicely. And then I'm gonna step up on the trailer here and show you if I can what's on top. So they've rigged up this, this loop right here that we can pick the truck up by the straps, pull the trailer out from under it and have it where we want it. So we're gonna see how this all works out. Okay, well we're gonna hit the road here in just a minute. Okay guys, the day has finally come. We're gonna drop this cab off for Shannon to put in a new floor, and we're gonna pick up the uh, 69 Coronet and take it back, and this is Jeff. He's gonna put the engine and transmission and all everything back in and get it running. Right now though, Matrix Auto Glass is out here. Uh, putting well, they've already got the back window in and they're putting the trim on so I wanted to watch a little bit of that Let's take a look Tom's jockeying around here trying to get this Truck and trailer lined up the way we want it. I'm really interested to see how this uh, Removing the cab thing is gonna work So this is Charlie and Charlie jr. From matrix glass and they are working on putting the trim around the back window. The back window they've already installed while I, before I could get here. And uh, so we're just gonna watch for a minute, see how it goes. You may have to watch that door. Okay. As you can see right here, Shannon put in new clips and screws. And now it's the tricky part of getting all the molding connected is what's happening right now. <coughs> well, they worked that. We'll just look over here real quick. Uh, we're taking the, the uh, gate down and we're getting ready to move the uh, cab in here and we're going to set it on its back so Shannon can do the welding. Okay, I think we're going to make another attempt at the upper piece now. It's not an exact science, you just have to make it work. What's that? Okay, we're gonna let them continue to work and we're gonna watch, we're gonna get this cab off of the trailer here. Tom has a, an idea that he's gonna use the cherry picker to lift it off and set it on the floor. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna work out. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, over here, Matrix Glass is having to readjust some of these mounting clips. They're working on that. And then over here, Mr. Automotive, Tom North and Jeff, and uh, Tyler here are getting ready to take the uh, cab up and then drive the trailer out from underneath it. Let me go from this way so that we don't have, we can see a little bit better. Okay, now we're going up with the cab. Yeah. See if it'll go. Against the tire. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Try it out. Huh? Up. Get up front. Oh, 
Oh, she's coming off the ground. Might actually work. <laughs> okay, we're about six inches yeah. off, eight inches off the trailer. But it shot its own level there. <laughs> okay, so just hold it right there and I'll drive out. Okay, underneath. Tom's gonna drive out from underneath and then we can set it down and roll it on its back. And then I want to get a good look at what this nasty floor looks like. Watch out, Smokey! We don't want Smokey to get run over here. Smokey's out helping with the uh, truck. The gate's gonna hit there. Stop, 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 stop. Oh! The gate caught the uh, lift. There we go. Okay, go! Okay, sorry about that, guys. Good! Okay, so there is the cab suspended in the air, and now we're going to see about putting it wherever Shannon wants it. Okay, uh, Shannon has laid down a blanket where he wants the back of the truck to end up. So, it looks so far like the plan is working as expected. Okay, at the moment, the cherry picker is being moved out. The tire, or the cab is sitting on two tires. And we're going to tilt it backwards and lay it on a blanket. So we'll come back when that happens. I think I might have to help with that. So we'll show you when it's tilted back and show you the underneath. Okay, guys, we have the cab on its back. And this is, here's the, the crux of the whole issue. Look at this. I mean, this is just, everything is just rotted. You can see. They put stuff over the top, but that didn't really help. This is rotted out. This is where um, fenders mount in there. You can see it's rotted down here as well. Not as bad. Well, it's kind of bad on this side. The floor over here is still there, but you can see it's rotted here and rotted down here. So this is uh, this is why we're putting a new floor in. Okay, Matrix Auto Glass is leaving. Tom's got the truck and trailer backed up. He's going to pull forward just a little bit, and then here is the work Matrix did. They installed this back glass. You can see that there's scratches on it, but there is no new back glass for these four-door cars available. So we had to go with what we have, and you can see. Um, Michael Freaker did a beautiful job polishing all of it and Matrix Glass did a wonderful job getting it installed. It's looking good. Okay, so the car is on the trailer but the trailer is a little too short. So we're going to see about uh, strapping the, the tailgate up part of the way and uh, trying to you know we only have to go about five six miles so we're gonna see what we can do but there it is it looks really nice out in the sun okay guys we're about done at shannon's uh, tom's doing the last little bit of strapping we couldn't get the bed all the way up because the car is long it's a four-door um, we have this blanket in here to keep from rubbing on the grill so anyway we're good we're gonna leave here and we'll see you back at tom's Mr. Automotive Shop. Okay, we're back at uh, Mr. Automotive's classic car garage over here near the Chevron by the Furnage Road for I-19. And the car safely made the trip. And now we're getting ready to roll it inside. And then over the next couple of weeks, they'll be putting the engine in and getting everything ready to go and get this old girl back on the road. Okay guys, we have the Coronet back at Mr. Automotive here in the classic car shop. And wouldn't you know, it just is in the bay right next to all the truck stuff. So this is all of the 66 Dodge truck that's a part that we took the cab out to get the new floor. And it's sitting right here by the 64 Corvette. So anyway, we are back. It is safe and 
Next Monday, I'll start bringing some of the pieces back and we think the engine will be picked up and delivered by Wednesday or Thursday. But uh, there we are, we're back. Thank you, uh, Tom. And thanks to Jeff. Tyler, thank you too. Thanks for all the help. Appreciate it, guys.